So today I'll be trying out another one of these temporary root touch-up products. This is the Clairol Root Touch-Up Spray. This is a temporary gray hair concealer product that's supposed to help cover gray roots in between permanent hair colorings. I picked this up for $14.99 and you get 52.7 grams of product. I'm not sure what that translates to in ounces. Let's just find out. So 52.7 grams equals 1.8 fluid ounces of product. So I bought the shade black and this product is available in six different shades. It comes in dark blonde, light blonde, medium brown, dark brown, red, and black. I also have a playlist of other Root Touch Up products that I've tested out. Some are better than others, but if you'd like to watch any of those videos, the link to the playlist will be in the description box below, or you can click right up there to watch. Also, if you're enjoying this video while watching it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to know more about this root touch-up spray, don't go anywhere, just keep watching. So on Clairol's website, it says, temporary root coverage that blends with your existing hair color available in six shades. Instantly cover gray roots with this temporary concealing spray. The benefits are three second application, lasts until the next shampoo, easy to apply, seamless blending for a natural look, and sweat, touch, and water resistant. So it really wasn't my intention to let my hair grow out this long. I have about three to four inches of gray roots showing right now but there was a comment on one of my other gray hair videos that they had trouble seeing the gray on my head. So again, this is way longer than I normally would go, but hopefully it gives everyone a good view of the gray. So how do we use this? Instantly natural looking color, oil-free formula that is water resistant, peroxide free and ammonia free, perfect for fast drying coverage on the go, covering high amounts of gray. Okay, here are the instructions. Protect clothing and shake well. Hmm. One second. I have no idea how messy this is going to be, but I'm not taking any chances. I tend to be a bit of a clumsy, messy person, so better to be safe than sorry. Okay, so protect clothing and shake well. There is a massive warning label on this. Um, the usual one about flammable container may explode if heated. Okay, well, I won't be doing that. Contents under pressure. Do not place in hot water. Do not puncture. My Lord. Do not use near open flame. Do not use while smoking. Use only in ventilated areas. Avoid contact with eyes. So I'm gonna open a window. Sorry about the outside noise. I just wanna make sure this area is well ventilated so I don't choke to death. Hold about six inches away from dry hair. Spray in a steady, even motion until desired color blend is achieved. Let dry for about 30 seconds before touching hair. So first things first, um, I'm going to pull my hair back and uh, I have this area like right through here where um, I have a couple of grays up front. So I'm just gonna pull my hair back and do the front portion of my hair first and then I will touch up along my part. See, it's not too bad, but I have like some areas around here that like, especially right there, that uh, I have a decent amount of gray. Historically speaking, I have not had good results with these touch-up sprays. I find that they transfer onto my fingers and they don't fully dry down 100%. Maybe some of the lighter colors might not have the same issues, but the black touch-up sprays seem to have a huge transfer issue and I just can't go around wearing a black product in my hair that may have the possibility of transferring onto my skin. Just can't do it. Anyway, shake this well. Hopefully this doesn't smell too bad. That's another huge issue with these products. They smell pretty horrible. Yeah, that smells pretty horrible. Holy moly. So the front of my hair really didn't need that much product, but it looks like it did a pretty decent job of covering the little bit of gray that I have. So this apparently takes about 60 seconds to dry, but I wanna try and speed up the process a bit. All right, let's do uh, the area along my part. Okay. 
So that's what my hair looks like now. It's not 100% perfect, but I don't wanna to put too much product on this for, for fear that it's not gonna dry down. It's supposed to dry in 60 seconds. Uh, hmm, the time is 10.55. Just to be sure, I'm gonna give this about 10 minutes to dry because historically I have not had good luck with these sprays. So I gave this more than enough time to dry. It's now 11.07. So from my point of view, the coverage looks fairly decent. It's not 100% perfect, and that's because I have so much gray up there and uh, because my roots were so long. But uh, for the most part, I think the coverage looks fairly decent. The smell of this is horrendous. If you're going to try this out, I would highly suggest you do it near a window. I really wish they could figure out a way to make these things where they don't smell so toxic. So. Mm, this is the part that always scares me a little. Let's just do a root touch test to see. So my hair is dry to touch, but uh, the part that concerns me a little is whether or not there'll be transfer. Yep, it's probably same on the other side. I'm not even really touching my scalp that hard. I'm just lightly touching it and uh, yeah. There's residue coming off. Also, um, my roots don't feel especially gummy or anything, but uh, they don't feel great. They kind of feel straw-like. It's not very comfortable. So, so far this transfers and my roots feel like straw, so we're not off to a great start. But um, I'm hoping as the day goes on, the transfer lessens a little bit. So I'm not willing to write this product off altogether yet, even though I'm not too terribly impressed with how my roots feel and I'm not really Hat. You okay there, buddy? My little cat has a stuffed animal that he likes to carry around in it. Yes! You bellowed? Would you like to say hello? So I'm not willing to write this product off 100% yet. I'm hoping as the day goes on, the transfer will lessen a little bit. So I will check in with you in five hours and let you know how this is holding up. Time is 5.48, so I just want to do a quick root test. Ooh, my roots feel more straw-like than they did before. It almost feels like uh, I haven't washed my hair in a little while. They feel really gummy and like there's um, a built up of residue and uh, both my hands are covered in black stuff. I mean, it's not nearly as bad as some of the other temporary sprays that I've tried in the past, but um, it's not looking great. The coverage is still holding up. I mean, there were some areas I missed under there because it's layered underneath. I can still see grays poking through. Even if this wasn't coming off on my fingers like it is, I gotta stop touching my head. This definitely wouldn't be my first choice um, based on the fact that my roots just feel so gross. I can't really even describe how it feels other than it just feels like I haven't washed my hair in over a week when in reality I washed it just yesterday. I don't know. Definitely not one of my favorites. I really can't see myself reaching for this ever again. One thing I do like is when I did spray it, um, it didn't spray my part black, which has been an issue for me in the past, but that's really the only positive thing I can say about this product. So uh, that's where we're at right now. I will check in with you later tonight. So the time is 8.49. The coverage for this is still holding up, but when I touch my roots, I don't like what I'm feeling. They still, they feel really gross. My hair just feels dirty. And uh, I still have like residue coming off of my fingers. And yeah, same with this on both sides. It's nowhere near as bad as some of the other concealer sprays I've tried. Some of those, my hair was just saturated black ink that didn't dry. But when I have to be concerned about residue coming off on my fingers and possibly touching my face with that residue on my fingers, that's a product that's just unwearable for me. It might be different for some of the other shades available, but I really can't speak for those though. So a better option for dark hair is the Garnier Express Retouch. I have yet to find a gray root concealer spray that I like as much as this. It's super easy to use. You just shake it 
and then you just twist it off and there's a little like sponge on the end and you just dab it where you need the coverage. It lasts all day, it doesn't flake, it doesn't leave you with gummy roots and it's not messy and it doesn't have that really offensive odor that a lot of these gray root products have. So if you have any further questions, just leave them in the comments section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe before you leave. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.